Hi all. In this video, we are going to see how we can create alerts for a GCP VM and its services. We are also going to see how we can monitor the health check of a GCP VM in a cloud monitoring. So let me create a first sample VM in a compute engine. So let me go to the compute engine page and I'll be creating a very basic VM and I will install a specific services like suppose the Apache service and we'll monitor that Apache service if that goes down we should get alert in our uh, mailbox so suppose I'll create a VM as a demo monitoring or I'll just keep it as a demo the region I'll keep it as a US central one because I have a subnet and firewall in US central one so let's keep everything as it is i'll just allow it because i will be using it for a web application okay and let me create a vm Okay, VM is up and running now. So I will be using a cloud shell to log in into that VM. So I'll be using the command gcloud compute ssh VM name demo and then zone is equal to us central one C. So let's see if it logged in or it give any error. Okay, so I'm logged in. So let me install a apache service let me update first sudo apt update so it will just update the packages on our system now i want to install a simple apache service on my instance so i'll just run a sudo apt update and apache 2 okay then i'll check the status okay system is running and i'm going to print a message that this is so you could see i am going to print here this is my application server okay now let's see if able to see this message on uh, this ip Okay, so this will not be reachable because we don't have any certificate. So we'll be using HTTP, not HTTPS. And see, this is my application server message we are able to see on this VM. Now let's go to monitoring and see if we able to monitor this health check for this a VM. So I'll go to monitoring. okay and i will go to dashboard and here are the dashboard so there is a dashboard also for vm instance so currently it will not show much health check here because there is no ops agent installed on the vm so it will if you check here so not detected so the it will look for a ops agent if ops agent is not installed it will not able to collect the services and the health check on that VM so how we can install that ops agent so go to overview page and here is option install app agent so I'll just click on this setup agent Okay, I'll click on this demo VM and here it will not give us a much details or it shows a requires ops agents 
so we'll go here to install obsidian and it will give us a command to install a ops agent so i'll copy that command and run inside my vm so i'll run this command as it is so you could see it's currently running and in progress okay the ops agent is installed now we'll go to the monitoring page again and reload it we'll see if it will collect the data now it will take a uh, two to five minute to reflect the ops agent so here you could see the ops agent is available now okay let me click on the vm and we could see what are the services running yes so now we could see all the details related to the vm let me click on the process now the process we could see what are the processes running so there are 22 processes running now i want to create alert on any of the processes suppose i'll check for Apache so I want to track the running processes of Apache on my server so let's see uh, how we can create that so I'll just uh, copy this command line okay so go here and copy and then I'll go to alerting I'll click on a create policy add a condition so I'll add condition here I'll go to process health I want to track a process health so I'll select a single VM instance I'll go as a demo command line which we copied I'll paste here and I'll see okay so here are three processes of apache are running here so i want to check if that service goes down i should get an alert okay then configuration is any timeline series is below threshold i will say one at least one should running okay and most recent value condition is below one or suppose there are three are running I'll just give as a three means if any of the process goes down it should create an alert okay then next who should be notified so here we need to manage a notification channel so how we can create a notification channel so I'll just open this notification channel tab And here we have a lot of option to get an alert so we can get alerts on the webhook email mobile SMS pops up so you need to add a email ID here so I already added email ID here so it's showing as my notification channel so I'll select this admin email as my notification channel I'll click OK and alert name i'll just give as a apache service and i'll save this alert okay now alert is here now let's go and purposefully stop the apache service now and we'll see if we'll get a notification so let me reconnect to the cloud shell okay it's running let me stop it let's again check the status
okay the status the service is not running now let me check in our dashboard what is the status now now it should create incident and create an alert okay so this was threshold was 3 it should come down now as we stopped a services So it will take a moment okay now let's see that is dropped the process count is dropped to zero now means there is no apache service running and now it should create an email alert as well as an incident yes now could see now you could see here are a incident started firing we'll go to incidents and see what it shows so policy name is apache service incident summary so this is the message that the service is below a threshold we'll see if we received an alert and here we received an alert so alert firing for vm instance demo and here the metric is that service is below threshold so in this way we can configure alert for any of the processes in our gcp vm thank you for watching the video